Welcome back to another Ben FDI 2K video. Today we are looking at the Amethyst Spencer Haywood. Crazy Eyes is back. What you need to know 89 speed, 84 mid, standing dunk 97, st uh, standing lap 97, driving dunk 85. Contact, don't pay attention to that because 100 dunk tendencies. That's what you need to know. They're OP and he has a Hall of Fame posterizer and relentless finisher. So the contact dunk means nothing. And he is money from everywhere inside the mid range except for elbow extended on the right. That's kind of weird. Or maybe it's a left hand or right hand. thing. bit of a funky release though. Got that flick. But it goes. It goes. You get used to it really quick. What's the meter before you watch the release? Then you, once you use the release, watch the release. Does that make sense? Yeah. Oh, that may make sense to me. You can hit three balls, 72 open shot three or something like that, but it needs to be off the catch. How you get him is for finishing historic domination, which I highly recommend you do. Because on top of getting him and Bob Love, which we've already done a video of, and yes, 2K did send me my missing jerseys. You get jerseys, you finish those jerseys. You get four rubies, three amethysts, and diamond, Jojo White. But you say, look, off the catch, good release, three, he hits the wide open. It's all good. And he's super strong, just pushes past guys and dunk. That's what he does. So with his crazy, like well, he's six foot eight. I don't feel that that height's been a problem unless he's matched up on someone like 7'2", because he's super athletic. Think like a power forward version of uh, Ben Wallace except more crazy on the dunk. And he gets up for rebounds and he's super strong and can box out. He came off the bench cold, I don't know why, but yeah. They're dunk with Shaq trying to block him. Um, big rebound, there you go. That's what it looks like. He just leaps in. And offensive boards as well. I think this game he finishes like 24 points or something like that. But yeah, well worth the effort. Here he goes, big fella. Big fella. Just, yeah, look at that release, that mid-range as well. He's got lots of things. Anyway, if you get him from finishing in historic domination, is it worth doing that? Is it worth the grind? And it's hard this year, boys. It's hard. For sure, he's a beast. And you get seven other cards as well for doing it. If you haven't done historic domination and you play my team at the moment, you've got you've to gotta do it. Just do it. I don't, um, that all time domination, I think it's more about MT and the diamond at the end, but historic is definitely where you need to at least get, because you can end up with, and because the cap being like 3 8 at the moment, you can actually run a lot of these guys. Thanks for watching, guys. Please remember to like, subscribe, and let me know in the comments what else you would like to see if any more of these reward cards are interesting to you.